So here we are today for our profile with one of the world's most electrifying forwards. Today we're going to hang out here with Sean O'Brien and put him through the grill of the Magnus League Mitt. So here we go, you all set? Yeah. All ready to go? Yeah. Okay, first up. So why do you call the cast? Um, it's, kind of, it's nothing to do with me actually. It's my, my father was called um, the cast, I suppose, um, after Casanova when he was growing up. So it's been passed on <laughs> through uh, all the lads in the family. And does, what would you like to be if you were the rugby player? Uh, I'd say a vet. A vet? Lovely. So what's your confirmation name? Uh, Adam. Adam? Lovely. Have you ever had the chicken pox? Yes. Once or twice? Once. <laughs> Joanne Cadwell or Ivan Nicola? Ivan Nicola. All the way? Oh yeah. No regrets? No regrets. Excellent. What lens of play would you least like to share double bed with and why? Uh, stand right, because um, you would know I'd get up there. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you make for a communion? 112 pounds. 112 pounds? Did you get a Euro converter? <laughs> I didn't know. And you still have it? No. You found so. What GE player would you most like to see playing rugby? Um, Sean Cadman. Sean Cadman. Tyrone, excellent. Apple or pear boomers? Apple. Apple. She didn't embrace the pear? No. <laughs> Me Hollimer or Hurtick or Michael Corbin? Me Hollimer or Hurtick. All the way. Need to say, you've just been announced as a Carlo Sportsman of the Month. How does it feel to have so much support back in, back in the hometown of Carlo? Yeah, it's great, you know, to have uh, all the support and people behind you, you know. Um, I suppose this is I've won it now a few times uh, over the last few years, so it's it's great to have everyone behind you, especially coming up to big games. You're getting loads of text messages, and phone calls, and you know that everyone's rolling behind you to support you and uh, support Leinster, and and when I'm involved involved with Ireland as well at the same place, so it is great, and um, you know I appreciate it, it all. Yeah, brilliant. It tells like there's a perception out there a lot of people that Leinster's just sort of a D four team. Give us an idea of the sort of support base that's back down in Carlow. Yeah, well, I think like maybe four or five years ago, maybe it might have been more of a Dublin uh, kind of, you know, more of a Dublin thing. But I think in the last couple of years, um, it's kind of evolved and down around Carlow, Kilkenny, you know, Wexford, all over. It's kind of, uh, it's grown, the sport has grown the whole time. And especially with like, uh, there's more youth players, I said, playing with Irish youths there now and coming into the system, into Leinster and, and um, you know, the sport then goes and it expands the whole time. So it is very good. And would Bernard Jackman have been your idol now, fellow fellow Leicester man growing up? <laughs> yeah, well I wouldn't say my idol. <laughs> um, you know, Bernard is uh, was involved with the club at home and, and I, uh, when I was only starting out playing I, I heard of him, you know, so and um he was playing in Connacht at the time and I went up there, we played a game up there, told it uh, we were under sixteens or something and it was great to see him and uh, he had great uh, piece of advice for me at the time as well, so it's all good, yeah. And can you tell us what piece of advice was? No. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And lastly, and most importantly, we got a lot of texts and emails in from a lot of female Leinster supporters wondering, are you still single? I am still single, yeah. You're still single? Well, we'll get the word out there. <laughs> Listen, Sean and Roy, thank you very much for taking time to talk to us. And best of luck in the future. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.